Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the second half of November. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for any messages. Let's see what we've got here. We've got cleansing body and spirit. We've got inspiration and courage. And we've got fire magic. Okay, Cancer. Let's see. Let's look at the bottom. At the bottom, we have seasonal harvest. Take a look at a few more oracles. What do we have in store for Cancer? Second half of November. What is in store for Cancer? Okay, we have Roots of Abundance. That is number two. Number two might be really significant for you. And one more, please. One. Okay. A few cards wanted you to jump out. We have number 20, Awakening Genius. And we have number 48, A Burst of Magic. <laughs> At the bottom, we have the Oracle's Gift. Okay, Cancer. Now that's a really good start so far. Let's see. Let's look at our angels. Let's see what our angels have to say. Let's take a look at what our angels have to say, Cancer. How are you doing? Are you getting ready for the holidays? Are you taking time out for yourself? Okay, we have Archangel Gabrielle. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So you have the help of your angels. You have people behind you pushing you spiritually to, to deliver the help that you need. And you also have Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So yeah, they're asking you to have faith at the moment and take care of yourself. You have Ray at the bottom. Uh, yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So yeah, they're, they're asking you to really take care of yourself, to really, to really look at how your body is feeling at the moment. Take care and rejuvenate yourself. Maybe it is that you've been taking care of other people or you've been you haven't been able to focus on your needs I think it's time to get that focus back on yourself at this time cancer okay let's get some tarot for cancer for the last half of November. Let's get some cards for Cancer, please. So many cards want to drop out. It's crazy. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Three of Swords. You have the Eight of Cups. Okay. 
you have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Wands. You have the Moon. You have the Hermit. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer. At the bottom, you have the Queen of Swords. So, what you don't see right now, I feel like... Someone's coming in to tell you the truth or someone has told you the truth or maybe you know that the truth is there. The Queen of Swords, she's coming to be totally honest with you. She's going to provide you with honesty. This could also be you kind of changing your thought process. Yeah, we have the magician that just popped out. And we also have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this could be this could be someone new coming in. Um, it could be a male or a female, but I feel like this person is coming to you very honest and open. They're coming to you very loving and very uh, caring and nurturing. Um, but I feel like after a time of pain and heartbreak, they're coming to provide you with some kind of beginning, some kind of start to something new. I feel like you may be going through it right now I think that's the reason why you have so many cards that talk about the importance of your life purpose the importance of having faith um, I, I feel like you've got you've got protection from the infinite right now cancer and I feel like you have everything that you need to move forward. Um, I feel like I feel like you have gotten offers offers to move away from the situation. I feel like you <laughs> I feel like you're on the right path, Cancer. I feel like you are you're coming out of a dark place. I feel like you were very confused at one point. You didn't know what direction to go. You weren't sure on how to go about the situation that you're dealing with. But I'm feeling like that those feelings you're coming out of, I feel like you are finally trusting yourself again. I feel like you are trusting in all of your abilities. I feel like you're finally moving forward at a faster pace uh, because I, I, I do feel some stuck energy. I feel like 
Um, the universe was letting you know that you, you were in great need of a new beginning. That um, because I feel like you were stuck. I feel like you were stuck. You were isolating yourself at one point. But I feel like you are really working through those feelings. I feel like you're finally seeing the light. And whoever this resonates with, you you understand exactly what I'm saying. But I'm I just feel like you finally see the light of the situation. I'm not sure how many this will resonate with, but I'm feeling like you're finally trusting yourself. And now since you do trust yourself in this situation, you're moving on at a faster pace. You're finally gaining ground in your situation. Let's clarify these cards soon. Let's see what these cards are saying. With the Ace of Cups, you have the King of Wands. So this could be a situation where someone has used their power This could be you using your power. You're taking your power back. This is you taking your power back. Who took your power? With the Three of Swords, you have the, the Page of Cups. So Cancer, is this you being disappointed in love? Because with the Eight of Cups, you have the Page of Swords. Someone's communicating something to you. Someone's communicating something to you that's actually pulling on your heart and your mind at the same time. Yeah, you've got the moon again. On the page of pentacles, you have the moon. So yeah, I definitely feel like this could be a dark night of your soul. You could be going, you're walking through a lot of darkness at the moment. You're walking down an unknown path. You're not sure where the path leads you. I'm feeling like you're not sure. You're not sure where your path is going. You're, you're in a lot of confusion at the moment, Cancer. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a lot of confusion at the moment. Yeah, you have the High Priestess. Now, she's reversed. Um, so I feel like if you're not trusting in yourself, I feel like you do need to trust in yourself. You do need to follow your intuition. Trust in your intuition. Trust where that leads you. This could also be secrets that have been revealed. Maybe that have left you heartbroken. Yeah, with the moon you have the judgment and the two of swords. Wow, okay. So yeah, there's decisions that you need to make. You need to make a tough decision, a decision that you really don't want to make or that you can't see how to move past from. Um, but this this decision, this decision that you make is going to actually set you free. Making this decision sets you free, Cancer. 
with the Hermit, you have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. So I feel like this could be a situation that you're isolating yourself because of something someone has taken away from you. Maybe someone has taken away your love. Maybe someone has taken away something that you have loved. Yeah, don't isolate yourself, Cancer. Wow, okay. With the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're moving past it, Cancer. But I, I feel like this, these feelings are kind of lingering. I feel like you're having a very hard time moving past the situation that you're feeling. Yeah, definitely. You're definitely having a hard time moving past it. You're having a lot of sleepless nights. You're having a lot of anxiety. You're worrying a lot. But yeah, Cancer, you, sh you need to trust in your intuition. Let go of this worry. You have the Six of Pentacles uh, with the Magician. So, someone's going to make you an offer. Someone is offering you a gift. that's going to help change your mind. Someone's giving you something that will make you believe in your abilities. But I believe when they give you something, I believe that they're going to give you total honesty. And I feel like, Cancer, you should be ready for that honesty. Um, maybe it's something that you needed this time for someone to be honest and blunt about the way your life is moving, the way your life is going, to kind of push you in the right directions. Yeah, and I feel like this is actually going to put you in a better place. This is going to make you feel more happy, more content. This is going to bring you more pleasure. This is actually going to help you feel so much better. Because I feel like you're working, working on health issues as well. Um, sometimes the Nine of Swords can be the mental health card. So this could be that you've been really working on your health. And because you're making those moves, you're becoming a more healthy person, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Yeah, while I'm doing this reading, I'm, I'm feeling more of a serious vibe, Cancer. Like, like you are really focused. I'm feeling you're focused. There's something that you have your focus on. You're focused on your health, on your well-being. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like you're caught up in your head, Cancer. You've been overthinking a lot. Yeah, you have temperance too. So... I feel like you need to take time to balance. Have patience in your situation. With patience and balance, maybe you should meditate. Maybe, maybe you can find that very beneficial at this time. Yeah, because I, I, I feel like you are... Not really understanding which way you want to go in this situation. I'm feeling a lot of confusion from you, Cancer. 
I'm feeling like you are so caught up in the situation, so deep and entangled in your thoughts. That you're having a hard time finding balance or finding your way out. I think you should be grounded. Yeah. You have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yeah, so I think you should focus on your growth at this time. Focus on becoming more grounded. Um, meditate. Balance your chakras. If you aren't really aware of what your chakras are, um, do a little research on how to ground yourself. Yeah, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling so much. I've dropped so many cards. that I dropped are perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And envy. I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. Very interesting, Cancer. Very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, you have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. And I, I don't feel like you're doing it th that at the moment, but I feel like it is definitely something that you need to do. I definitely feel it's something that you need to do more of, Cancer. I feel like there was one more card and I don't see it so maybe that was all of them okay okay cancer we're gonna get one more card from the universe for guidance and we're gonna go ahead and end your reading there I'm not sure how much help this reading was I still feel a lot of confusion and a lot of indecision during this reading. You have the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. And one more cancer. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Yeah, take time out to really love yourself. At the bottom you have, I am the dreamer of my dream. So, what I think that means, Cancer, is that you are the captain of your ship. You have the ability to make these changes. You have the ability to make these cho choices that are going to change everything for the better and good luck with good good luck on your journey right now cancer i'm not sure how helpful this was and i am so sorry that's what i'm seeing right now and um if this message resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more answers. I think you may have more answers in your other placements. Many blessings to you, Cancer. Love and light.